Hey everyone, this is Exploring Fiction, and welcome back to the channel. So, on this week's video, I just wanted to give my thoughts on Loki, as the show just concluded this past week, and answer the question of if it's the best MCU show to date. So, in my usual format, I'll be going through the positives, negatives, and then my final thoughts. First, I'll start with the positives, and the first one here is the chemistry between Loki, played by Tom Hiddleston, and Mobius, played by Owen Wilson. I thought their chemistry was great, and it felt like what Sam and Bucky could have and should have been in Falcon and Winter Soldier. They played off each other really well, especially in the first two episodes, and you really felt their bond naturally growing throughout the show, and by the finale, you could tell that they were genuinely friends, and that was just very cool to see. So my second positive is that the payoff for all the setup and intrigue of the show was satisfying. So I can't help but compare this show to another MCU show that we recently got in WandaVision. And I was just thinking about how WandaVision had such intrigue and such a build-up, but the payoff was kind of a letdown as it turned into just a mess of a generic MCU finale. But I thought that the payoff for this show for Loki, was a lot better, and all the intrigue and questions and foreshadowing really kind of, we weren't slammed with it in one or two episodes, like how I felt WandaVision did to you, which wasn't bad either, but I felt like the intrigue slowly crept up on you uh, with each episode for Loki, and then by the finale you just get answers to all your questions in a very satisfying way. So my third positive is that it made a potentially dangerous concept for the MCU work very well. So, of course, the multiverse and multiple timelines with any franchise is really... Unless you're focusing on time travel, it can get really messy and feel like a way just to get out of having to do certain things, or doing whatever you want without having to offer up an explanation of how it works in the world. And I thought that this show explained the multiverse and timelines well, and like how that works within the MCU, and I thought that it kind of tiptoed around the full-fledged idea of multiple timelines very well. Like, it delve in, delved into it, but not so deep that you got lost or thought it was impossible, but also just enough to make it intriguing. My next positive is that there were a lot of standout side characters. So, Mobius was is the first one that comes to mind. Classic Loki is another one. He's only in one of the episodes, and it's near the end, but Classic Loki was a great character, and I empathized with him almost right away. It was great. And finally, the final side character, I suppose, is one of the characters in the finale who I won't spoil yet. I will warn you when I'm going to talk about this character, but I thought this final side character was very good, and you'll know who I'm talking about if you watch the show or just stick around for when I talk more about this character later in the video. My next positive is that four out of the six episodes were great. I thought the first two had a very cool thing going with Loki and Mobius. Those were what made those two great, and then being introduced into what the TVA is all about. I thought the middle two episodes were more generic and slow, I f they felt slow moving, and not a lot happened, and then the final two episodes I thought were great, because you could sense everything coming to a point, and there's a lot of action, but it also had a lot of stakes. My next positive is that there's a consistent tone throughout this show, and this tone was both ominous, mysterious, and whimsical all in one. So it felt like there was a mystery because you don't know anything about the TVA, who's behind the TVA, who's really working for good and who's being tricked, who's on whose side, who is everyone, why is everyone where they are, or how could some things happen. I thought it was whimsical in the way that, yes, there's serious 
topics, but it felt very Loki-like, if that makes sense. Like, there are some characters in the MCU who you have to be more serious with, and that's just the way it is. And, of course, there's nothing wrong with that, but that's just the way it is. But it felt like this show encompassed what it's like, or what Loki's character is like, pretty well. And I felt like the show, you could feel how ominous it was, as you know everything's building to some point where the, your, the characters have to find out what's going on and who's behind it, and you could kind of feel the danger, and especially in the finale, you could still feel that something far worse is yet to come. It almost feels like the end of Captain America, the first Avenger, where he's out of the ice in this new world, and you know that something has to happen after this, something very big, and that, of course, led into the first Avengers movie, which is great. And finally, my last positive will delve into a bit of spoilers. So if you don't want this show spoiled for you or you haven't had a chance to watch it yet, just skip over this next positive and go on to the negatives. So, the man behind the curtain in the finale was, although probably a bit predictable for longtime Marvel fans like myself, great, and I found the actor who played this character, aka Kang, eccentric, and, and really alive. That's the best way I can describe it. Although this Kang wasn't necessarily Kang the Conqueror, he was more of just a guy keeping everything in order. I'm sure we'll see the Conqueror version of Kang soon enough. And I really like this actor. I don't remember his name at the moment. But his performance in the finale was great. And really convincing about why he was doing what he was doing. And why it was the right thing to do. So, now we'll get into my negatives. And there aren't many, to be honest. My first one is that Loki felt really dumbed down as far as his powers went. Now, we've seen him do a bunch of incredible things in the MCU, but this show just felt like his power level was whatever the writers needed it to be, and it wasn't consistent, and there were a lot of times when he should have been able to get out of a situation or beat some enemies or something like that, and he just didn't and you're just sitting there wondering why he couldn't have just done that. So that was kind of a big one for me. And the other negative is that Loki was overshadowed a lot by Sylvie, his female counterpart, Loki, almost to an unbearable point. I, I'm not going to claim this show was necessarily woke or anything, because there were a lot of cool moments and story moments that had nothing to do with wokeness, but it's just kind of annoying at every turn, Sylvie seemed to be outsmarting Loki or having a better plan, and she would always make sure it was they were doing what she wanted, not necessarily what he wanted. And the show at times, at a lot of times actually, just felt really driven by Sylvie and not by Loki. Loki felt like he was a side character in his show, and... I just wanted to see Tom Hiddleston take front and center, like he should, because he's been around in the MCU for a while, and I just wanted to see him shine, and a lot of times it just felt like he was, his character of Loki was being overshadowed by Sylvie and the motivations and desires of that character, and it almost seemed to never stop. So, to wrap up my final thoughts, even though I was someone who thought Loki should stay dead after his arc and somewhat redemption in Ragnarok and Infinity War, I was actually pleasantly surprised by this show, despite some major flaws involving the titular character of Loki himself. I thought that he was overshadowed a lot by Sylvie, and he felt kind of a backup in his own story, but this show, at the end of the day, was really fun, had a great payoff, and it's really the best of the Disney Plus MCU shows so far. It delivered pretty much everything I wanted and more. Like, the concept was interesting from the beginning, and unlike WandaVision, which had an interesting concept that kind of devolved at the end, Loki really built on it, and it ended up being quite an enjoyable show. So, I'd like to hear your comments as well. 
just go ahead and leave whatever your thoughts are down below, and leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you're new. I have new videos every Sunday, so don't forget to come back to this channel. This has been WRY Earth Exploring Fiction, and I'll see you next time.